In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do transformations using function form via your graph page. And once we've completed all our transformations required, we then can open up our calculator page to rip out our transformed equation. So first, let's take a look at a past VCAA question. We've got a graph of the function with the rule y equals to 1 on x is transformed as follows. A dilation by a factor of a half from the y-axis, a reflection in the y-axis, a translation of three units to the right, a translation of one unit up. So what I would like you to do first is to open up a graph page. As you can see here, I've got my f of 1 ready to go. So in your f of 1, what I would like you to do is to type in the original function given. So my original function is y equals to 1 on x, enter. It's a sequence of transformations, so it carries on from the previous function. So I'm going to do my very first um, transformation, meaning a dilation by a factor of a half from the y-axis. So if we are dilating by a function of a, a factor of a half from the y-axis, this will going to have an effect on the y on the x coordinates. So in f of two, once I hit tab in f of two, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply my f of one by a factor of a half. So a half multiply, and in order for you to call that f one, we're going to press variable and we will select F1. Please input the X in as well. Enter. We're now going to move on to the next transformation, meaning a reflection in the Y axis. If we're going to have a reflection on the Y axis, what I want you to do is to go tab, and now I should have F3. So this will simply going to be negative F of 2. And don't forget to press in X. Enter. Let's move down to our translation now. I have a translation of three units to the right. So this will going to be in my F4. So I will take my F3 and I will going to shift this three units to the right. So inside my F3 I should input as X minus three in order for it to have a horizontal shift of three units to the right. And lastly, I need to do a translation of one unit up. So I'm going to hit tab again. I now I'm sitting on F5. So from F4, we're going to plus one, meaning that we're going to have a translation of one unit up. So I'm going to call out F4, X, and then we will plus one. This will now going to be what I call as my answer function, and it is actually in F5. So once you've done that, in order for you to um, get the equation out, you need to open up a calculator page and we're just going to use the variable function and we're just going to call it out. The reason that you need to do that is because as you can see here, clearly on our graph page, our F5, it's simply just F5 equals to F4 plus 1. You don't really know what the equation is. So in order for you to know the exact equation of our transform function, I'm going to open up my calculator page. So let's go control I for control insert. And I'm going to add a calculator page. And what I'll do is I'm going to go variable and I'm going to select F5, X. And here it is. This is my equation. So your equation of the transform function, it's simply going to equal to Y. You can call this as y transform or y new say so i'm going to say this is y new equals to and i'm just going to copy that down one minus one over two lots of x minus three and that's the end of this tutorial thank you